Officially, one, two, three, five, what, like five colors? Where are we at? This is just, this is just absolutely disgusting. There it is, the bumper coming in. As you guys saw from the first clip, you saw that my bumper has arrived and I can finally show you guys. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick overlay right now. As you guys could see, it's the same company uh, that makes my trunk. Uh, the name of the company is VIS. So if you ever wonder who makes my trunk, that carbon trunk with that looks kind of like, like Dulux style, um, it's a company called VIS. And they're actually located in LA, so I got it pretty fast. I ordered this thing maybe like two weeks ago, if I had to guess. Um, hence, obviously, why I didn't wrap that front bumper. Because um, I knew I was getting a new one, so there'd be no point of wrapping the OEM one when I'm going to get a new one. So, as you guys can see, the clip that you're watching right now is the new front bumper. I'll do a little walk around of it right now. Um, it fits pretty good. Uh, but obviously with anything that's not OEM, you're going to have to kind of adjust, shave some things and get it right. And I kind of knew that. I was hoping it was gonna fit honestly slightly better, but I'm going to make it work. And um, yeah, I guess we're just gonna go kind of step by step. This might end up being a couple day video um, because I didn't realize I was gonna have to kind of adjust as much as I had to. And um, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Overall, the condition of the bumper is pretty good. It does have one small crack uh, near kind of like where the headlight is. Um, so I am going to have to maybe like Bondo sand that, but I don't know, it is what it is and we will continue, it's not too bad. So uh, as of right now, I'm just kind of test fitting. I'm actually going to get the Dremel out and do a little bit of shaving uh, to kind of fit around the headlight a little bit better. Uh, and then we're gonna keep moving forward and hopefully get this thing on. So here is obviously the OEM front bumper, freaking blown out, scratches everywhere. And uh, here is the new one, it's the VIS, or you could say maybe like Voltex style front bumper. As you can see, it pretty much looks exactly like the Voltex one. I obviously just wasn't down to pay, uh, you know, over a grand for a bumper. So this one, obviously a little bit cheaper, um, but I am gonna have to shave a little bit like around the headlight area here with the Dremel, just to make sure everything's fitting good. Once it fits good, then I'll get to wrap it. So I got the bumper to fit a little bit better, definitely around the headlights and such. Um, fitting a lot better here, a lot better on the other side. My only issue that I'm really having is this area here. So it looks like I'm gonna have to shave maybe the inside of the bumper here. Um, but as far as like that, that fits pretty good. So it's just mainly this area I'm gonna have to be working on. I think the, my best bet is getting the car lifted up and then obviously both of the wheels off so I can work from the inside and see kind of what's hitting it and uh, kind of go from there. But that is gonna all happen tomorrow. So today is the next day and we are still working on getting the bumper to fit perfectly before I end up wrapping it so we can see the final result. So what I had to do, uh, I actually hit up the boy at Jake STI. I'll put his uh, Instagram handle right here. Um, definitely helping out. He also has the VIS front bumper. That's kind of where I got the inspiration to do so. And um, he actually helped me out and give me some tips on bending some tabs underneath where the headlight bracket is. Um, it's going to give me the space and allow the bumper to fit better because I was having some difficulty fitting it here. I already bent these tabs out of the way and I did a fitment check and it fits a lot better now that I did that. So now I'm doing it on this side with this guy here. So bending this tab down and then bending these three tabs down as well. Gonna open everything up, put this thing back together and it should fit better. If I sound weird, it's because I got the mask on. <sighs> Pretty much what's going down, we're doing a bunch of body work. I ended up taking the bumper completely apart, taking off the canards, taking off of the mesh as well that was all in the bumper. 
um, because as you guys can see, it's right, it's right there. Reason being is I wanted all that to be black. I didn't want it to be, um, I don't know, the silver color. Uh, so I took that out, gonna get that all black looking good. And then also just smoothing out all the edges. And I finally realized why I couldn't fit the bumper perfectly. It's obviously because of my front mount. I had to shave a little bit in this area. Obviously I didn't shave the piping. Started shaving this guy right here. So I got the Dremel tool out, started shaving just a little bit um, so I can actually get some clearance uh, for this guy. So pretty much my goal, my goal for tonight is just to get this thing pretty much fitting perfect. Uh, I think tomorrow I'm gonna get the car in the air, take off both of the front wheels because I'm gonna have to mount it from behind because there's actually two bolts uh, that are gonna go through here. You have to take off the OEM plastic on the side and then there's gonna be bolts that go through this and also this. Um, and actually screw in to the back side of here. So it's gonna be a lot easier if the uh, the wheels come off so I have access and a lot of room to work with. So that's definitely what's going down tomorrow. But as far as for tonight, we're just trying to get this thing to fit perfect, make it all smooth. And then once we get it test fit perfect, then I can wrap it. All right, a million years later, you can see this thing is fitting way, way better. I only have one bolt here. Uh, so you can see there's a little bit of space here, but another bolt actually goes right here on the back side. But like I said, I'm gonna lift this thing up. Um, you guys just should have seen this thing uh, fitting before. It was absolutely terrible, but bending the tabs under the lights. And then obviously you have to take out the plastic OEM clips or that whole little section here. Um, but the bolts actually line up perfect. There's literally a bolt that screws in from the back here. And then, like I said, right around this area here to kind of suck everything in. Um, obviously I did have to shave a little bit here. I forgot if I even mentioned that, but uh, I shaved around the headlight as well, just so I can move it uh, a little bit better left and right because it was a little tight right there. And then also this section here, but I mean, you can see this thing fits pretty good. Obviously it's not gonna be uh, as good as OEM, but if I can get it, you know, to about 95%, then I'll be happy, I'll be stoked. Once this thing is wrapped, um, I'll kind of move everything around more, maybe try to move the headlight up, maybe try to push the fender out just to make it fit as good as possible. But overall, pretty happy with it. Uh, I think tomorrow we will continue, and uh, hopefully maybe in tomorrow I'll actually be able to start wrapping. All right, so today is the next day. We are going to attempt, this is our attempt number one to wrap the front bumper. You can see I'm all set up over here. This is the tactic I'm going with. Took off both the front wheels and uh, I like utilizing the magnets. Obviously the bumper is fiberglass. It's not made out of metal or anything that the magnet can hold on to. So that's why I cut a huge piece. It's a 10 foot piece and I can hold each edge and also up top so I can get a general area on which the wrap needs to go. And um, yeah, we're pretty much just going to go for it. I got everything sanded, prepped, ready to go. I think I'm going to start from maybe passenger side and work my way that way. Use a lot of heat and I think I'm going to try to do it in two pieces if I can. If not, it's probably going to be three pieces, but this is for sure going to be the hardest thing I've wrapped. Let's go ahead and go for it. So I'm continuing to make some good progress. I'll throw a little clip up here, but every time I put the camera in there, it has a weird like ticking noise, so that's what I'm doing overlays. Uh, about, I would say maybe halfway done moving across the bumper. I uh, just gotta finish the driver's side uh, and then just little stuff like cutting all the edges, but it's looking pretty good. Don't mind the mic, I'll just show you anyway, but this is where we're at. Definitely making some good progress. 
Got to obviously clean up all my lines, but now I just got to finish up this side. And we're back at it again. I think this is day three of today's video. And the bumper's right here, ready to go. I wasn't sure if I was going to wrap the bottom portion because obviously it's pretty much two separate pieces and it kind of looks like a lip essentially. I mean, it's pretty much what it is. So what I did is obviously I took out all the grills everywhere. There was literally mesh grill everywhere. And I think all I'm gonna do is just retain the grill here. And then I took out all the rest of them. Obviously I got the front mount and I think it looks better just without it even on the side. So what I'm doing right now, just painting these guys black because originally obviously they're just like I don't know alloy looking um, so what we're gonna do put a couple coats of black on there put these guys in there and then the bumpers pretty much ready to go on all right so honestly I have no idea what the last clip was I was way too in the zone I was slightly rushed I wanted to get this thing done just to finally button this thing up and give you guys the full reveal I'm sure this video actually started out with a super nice cinematic of like before because that's probably how I wanted to start out the video um, so you guys probably already saw what it looked like but as of right now I'm just gonna go for a little cruise and then meet up with all the boys um, probably in a little bit I'll go home shower and then meet up with the boys and we're gonna take some super nice photos for Instagram and stuff um, so I'm gonna catch up with you guys when we meet up with the boys and then we'll all like see it together I'm gonna get their reaction to what they think of the car and uh, it should be pretty good I have to get you and Jordan's reaction you know even though you already saw it like rolling up you know Wow what are we thinking <laughs> It's right there, you know? There it is. It's right there. There it is. Absolutely. What's up, y'all? <laughs> no, it looks great. Yeah, I like it. Wow. Don't know where Jordan's at, but you know. Is this aired out all the way? No. Oh, okay. Where are they at? Woo -woo! Oh, it actually like fits perfect. Huh? Yeah, I know. It's uh, I don't know. It's kind of like I kind of like messed up. Um, uh, this one's actually fit way better than the other one. Oh, okay. Um, this one. We, it was like a second attempt, but this kind of right here is kind of flappy, but it's okay. But I mean, like you can't really tell. Me. I mean, like unless you're looking at it like hell hard, you know. Yeah. Like, it looks better, you know. Mm -hmm. Wow. We got more ricers coming. You just hear them from far away. His car looks sick rolling up, you know? What's he gonna say? <laughs> what are you thinking, you know? Does it look weird? No, how's it look? Are you the owner of Subiflow? What's going on? I own Subiflow, you know? It looks better. Wait, I got really lightheaded. Oh, shit. Shit, are you serious? Yo, what's crazy is, what's crazy is, these rivets make it. I don't oh, know 100%, why, I don't 100%, know yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit. I think I'm a make. Wait, 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 wait. What happened? It looks like way different, right? No, like every, no, everything looks different. I'm gonna be honest, you're gonna hate me. When oh. you didn't have the bumper even on the car, I was like, honestly, why it wasn't the call? <laughs> it's so it's good. It's so, no, it's so the call. What, cause it's like, bro, it wasn't cleaned up. Like I fully cleaned it, like ready to go. I don't know why it's crazy everything looks different. It's crazier. No, yeah, everything looks different now. So somehow we got, wait, what is this even called? CCC3S? Yes. Okay, well we love that. We love the CCC3S. Somehow we're driving it because the boy got it for like a rental through his homie. <laughs> you know, either way. It's always awesome. And uh, he, I said I could drive it, so somehow this video turned into driving this, but it looks freaking sick. We're doing it. We're doing it. Well, I'm gonna move up. Hella. Figure out how to move that. All right. It's on your door. It's yeah. on the door. It's on the door. Full send. Oh, oh. Bro, my bad. My bad. How do you move up? The uh, door. The door. Oh, the door. Oh, that's not the fucking. That's the one. Down on the. Press down on what? Down. I'm gonna drive right now. Fast. How much horse, no, how much horsepower does it have? 507. 507? <laughs> Mine has like 32 at this point. So like do I look like I drive this? Not at all. Not at all. I'm a BMW guy. Alright. Alright. Relax. Can I go automatic? Yeah, just press that. This mode. Now it's automatic? It's gonna do it for me? Oh. 
Oh, oh, I'll go up bay. Bumpy there. I'll go up bay. It's like driving stick, bro. Wow. Well, you know, uh, happy Fourth of July. You know, here we go. Okay. Good. Good. On the truck. We good. Life on me. Switch car. What's weird is like I was like, all right, this is fast. And then I went to full like I'm Paul Walker at some point. Oh my like, god! I felt it. No, look at this shirt. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, it's pretty fast. Like you know, it's, it's pretty fast. It must be nice. Huh? It's fucking sick. Wow. How are you doing back there? Hey, how you guys doing? doing? All right, honest. I mean, like comfortable too, huh? Hey, yeah, it's actually pretty comfortable. I haven't driven like an M4. Wait, would that be the comparison or no? Uh, M4 what? CS maybe? Yeah. So, what do you think? Thoughts? Um, If we're comparing this to like an M4, I was telling Jordan like, this is way more, we use classy, that's the word, right? Yeah. Like, the as far as like, yeah, like interior wise, I'm sorry, like, or not sorry, Mercedes, they do it better. Like, like the steering the wheel, wheel, yeah, the steering wheel it's is like insane. Gorgeous. It, look, it even has digital stuff right here. Like you can know. change like the modes and stuff. I think right here. Oh, that's really that's pretty. Oh, I don't know. I feel like just the interior-wise, it's it's really sick, super refined, and like I mean, you just feel like you're in a super luxurious car, right? Like yeah. It. Is your car really that slow or do you just need this battle? <laughs> uh, my car, I'm not I'm not joking, my car has a literally 100 horsepower. <laughs> Tops. Okay, we finally made it out here. We had to wait a while just because we wanted the sun to go down because the car obviously will look a lot better. Because the car is white, it's just super, super bright in the broad daylight and all photos look better, uh, obviously, when you're in dimmer light. So we got the boy Stephen Kwan here, pulled up, ready to go. Jordan. What? Are you in your fields over there? What happened? Are you cold? What? Are you blown out? Uh, I'm pretty tired. I'm also looking for car parts because my car is not as sick as yours. <laughs> uh, anyway, you know, the car is ready to go. We're going to get some bangers for Instagram because I haven't posted anything yet, of course, because I literally just finished it today. So I'm really pumped on it. How's it look? Looks good. Just, wow. Just wait for it, yeah. That's it. You know, just wait for it. All right, I think that is going to be it. We're just gonna go grab some rollers right now. There's Jordan as well, waiting to uh, assist with said rollers. So I think that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of the final result. There's a few more tweaks that I'm gonna try out, of course. I still am in search uh, of a diffuser as well to obviously complete the entire body. Um, but there's a few things that I might add more white to the front bumper in some places, but it's pretty much the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys love the new look. I think that's going to be it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.